Country Club, Daniel. Oh my goodness. No, that was horrible. Is it rebuilding? Huh. I, I yeah. don't know. Just anything for the gym? For the gym? How about like Runkeeper, Nike Runkeeper? Do you run it all or no? Yeah. Runkeeper, Nike Runkeeper. And put it on air, and it'll like, and it'll like keep it in front of me all the time. It oh, that's a cool idea. That's what it does. When he does, he puts his workouts in there. Uh huh. I think you can go to like Body, Body, wait, Bodybuilder.com. <laughs> Have a um for here cup um I mean, you might throw rotten eggs in my house I'm not telling you I did that never so you're robotic I was near his house on Easter actually we're down and I told him I threw rotten eggs at his house the customer in front who's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I thought maybe they were like hard boiled and colored. I was joking, but the part that I was like, What's that? Yeah, right? <laughs> well, when I said, uh, the long she didn't steal one.
this uh, is part one of assignment three. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to learn how to do what's called the Venetian blind technique and marker. This is the basic technique used by people doing layouts, ad layouts. So for your ad layout, I'm going to require you to do the Venetian blind technique. Here, here what I'm doing is this assignment, basically I drew up a couple flat rectangular and triangular and circular shapes. And basically, when you do the Venetian blind, the first thing you do is use the wide side of the marker and you border it. Basically, you're doing a cutting edge, which goes around the shape. In this case, it's a rectangle, but there's a triangle that's been cut through it. And so I bordered it. And then what you're going to do is do vertical strokes. And the Venetian blind concept comes from the way the strokes overlap each other and create a blind-like look, sort of like vertical blinds. So in this case here, I'm just putting in the one rectangle. Now, here it is a little later down the road, and I've got a couple more shapes in. What I'm going to ask you to do is do two of these, one in gray, just grayscale, and the other one I'd like you to do in color. Now, here's the finished grayscale one. So when you, when you only need three, three grays, a 60%, 40%, 80%. Here's that same drawing, basically it's just a rough sketch, and I throw it under a sheet of marker paper. You know, the Ben Fang marker papers uh, I described in an earlier video is the best uh, variety to get. Here I'm going to use a few colors, and um, again, the same idea. You do a cutting edge, and you around the shape, and then no matter what shape is, whether it's a circle or a triangle, you still use the vertical strokes. And that creates a, a consistency throughout the composition. And when we do the layout, you're going to want that same feel no matter what. The images are in the layout in your ad. I want you to use your roughs as a guide that we did from the previous assignment. And, and no matter what direction or angle, you still keep the consistent vertical direction for the fill. Of course, for the cutting edge, you'll follow the shape. But when you're putting in the fill color, the, the, the solid area, you want to use the vertical blind technique, as you see me doing here. And so, and again, once again, just three colors and uh, using a couple contrasting colors here and this would be again the circle even though it's a circle don't change the stroke direction vertical vertical stroke no matter the shape so as I complete this one you'll see now I have two so what you want to do is uh, make two just like I did scan them in you can scan them in together in one scan or you can scan them